Hello and welcome back. I'm Non Lethal, and you're watching the Nerds at Night Nerd Stream of XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, as if you've been watching these videos, you know, I've just been playing along, had some good times and some bad times, and I've been doing things based on your feedback. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments down below on what you'd like me to do in this stream. Won't go much into what's been happening because if I'm sure you've all been watching the videos and you know what's been going on. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's scan for some activity and wait for some events to happen. Our is and ah, excellent. We have a satellite. Let's launch it, shall we? Let's see if we need to first. We've got... Oh, I've got a few countries with three. Putting a satellite there will put them down to one. But I'm not sure if we really need to yet. How long until the council report? 11 days. Let's hold off for a few days. It takes three days for the satellite to go up. So let's wait and see what other abduction missions come around. Maybe our panic situation will have changed by the end of the month. But um, yeah, let's uh, see how we go. Oh, genetic modification. Soldiers were already humanity's best warriors. Now, as we learn from our fallen enemies, we can make their strengths our own. Yeah, how you like me now? I got genetically modified eyeballs. All right, let's keep scanning. We've <laughs> power generation should be finished any moment as well. Yeah. Power generator complete. All right, now we have some more power. Let's see what else we can build. Our cybernetics lab will be finished in a few days, but what I'd really like to build is the officer training school. But unfortunately, we don't have the money for that, so we'll just have to keep going. And I really, really want to build this as well, but we need more engineers. We have nine engineers at the moment, so we need one more engineer. We'll get some at the end of the month, though, I think, so that shouldn't be an issue. Let's actually check that. Do I get engineers? We get a scientist. Oh, dear. Maybe we won't get any... Oh, maybe I will. Yes, one engineer a month. That'll give us exactly what we need to build a satellite nexus. Not a nexus. Satellite... Kajiggy thing. Satellite uplink. If we build it there, we get an extra two satellites, but since they're adjacent, we'll get an additional one. So we'll get one f one bonus from here and one bonus from here. So we can have up to four more satellites, which I'll be building straight away so we can get this level of panic a little bit more under control. I'll feel a bit better that way. But let's keep going and see what our research will bring. Oh, you want some nanofiber vests, eh? You give me $57. How much does it cost me to build two nano vests? Because it costs 15 each. So for $30, I make 57. Seems like a good trade to me. I said submit. Excellent. Let's go to pending requests. And sure, it's only a little bit extra, only an extra $27, but it's better than nothing. Ta-da! I now have 138, so now I have the money to build the thing. Let's do that now. Yes, the officer training schools, so we can unlock extra squad size and other cool abilities. Let's do it! Now I have barely any money, I have $13. And 10 days to the council report. I think we're sitting pretty at the moment. Let's see if there's an abduction soon. Nope, I just got xenobiology. Alright, let's get some more research. Alright, we have to build a containment facility, which we can't afford. We have to research the arc thrower and build one, and capture a live alien, and then interrogate the alien. So this will probably all happen next month, because we, as I said, we don't have the money to build any of this stuff yet. But we can get that research out of the way if we so choose. Arc thrower. Or we could do some autopsies, which take a while. 
A while indeed. How long will that take? 17 days. Bah! Let's do this one. It's the slowest. Weapon fragments. Maybe we can get some new weapons or some modified equipment for our guys to use. Only five scientists. No wonder everything's taking so long to research. Alright. Let's go again. Ah, abductions. I am shocked by this. Multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Alright, so we have a moderate difficulty with four engineers with a level two panic. Level one panic, moderate difficulty, and 200 buckaroos, which will be very, very handy. Or we have another assault sergeant in Nigeria with a moderate panic. So we have Africa, Europe, and South America. Before we do those, let's go have a look at our I map. I can't believe Dr. Vaughan expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Yes, Much well, alive. that's what she wants, isn't it? So, South America's looking fine at the moment. They're not in any real danger of panicking out. Africa's about the same. They've only got a few in there. None of them are really high. What was the other one? Europe. So, Germany, France, Russia, and the United Kingdom. Again, nothing is really bad at the moment. Asia's pretty bad, and America's pretty bad. Really, really wish we had a mission for one of those, because now, now those places are going to go crazy. So really, our decision should just be based on what we need the most, and I think at the moment, that's money. So why don't we go for the Bali mission and see what that happens. We'll take our genetically modified sniper, our support with our medkit, uh, got two heavies. Two heavies. You're the one with good aim, and you're the one with average aim. So, let's get rid of the one with average aim, and see who else we've got here. Let's bring... Ah, Margarita Ruiz is back from our rookie mission. Let's take her and see if we can't get her a new ability. Maybe we'll get another sniper, or an assault, or a support. Either would be very see what the future may bring. Prepare for deployment strike one. Let's begin the assault. France is sending an urgent mission request. Let's go to Both France. Je m'appelle non lethal. I speak little to no French. I have tried to teach it to myself, but it is difficult. Alright, let's get into some cover and have a look around. Mr. Heavy! You need to get into the front lines because you like to shoot things. We have our meld container over the side. You need to run forward as well because you're a sniper. Into full cover. You can run up to there, because you, as a rookie, can go get that meld. I hear them. I hear them. Alright, who should we go with first? Let's go with our rookie. Go and collect that meld. Yes, those were words. The soldiers, if you have the option enabled, speaking other languages, and I have them set to do that, so it's interesting it to hear the soldiers. Normally they don't speak with an American accent. Aha! Aliens! Hmm. Our sniper naturally does not have a shot. That's getting mighty old. Dash over to that full cover, and you should be able to shoot up a flank there. No, I was wrong. You couldn't. How useless. Let's overwatch you. And you can either take a shot, 64 or 65. But let's run you back into your cover. And make them come to us. Ah, you can hear them buffing. Hello, Clarice. 
Snipey McSnipe. You can do this. Let's go with that special ability. The headshot for increased chance at critical. Boom! Not a promotion though, which makes me sad. Rookie, get up there. Ooh, I see the other meld as well, and we see the alien. 57% chance. Go for it, Rookie, you need the kill. Oh, okay, that was a bad shot. Alright, let's get you back up to here. Now, if you shoot it, it's going to die. Boom, but the hollow targeting came on, so maybe I should have shot with him first to make the other ones easier to hit. Oh dear, I seem to be getting flanked. Oh dear, indeed. Oh, oh dear. Alright, rookie, it's time to earn your promotion. Oh dear, this is not good. Lots of aliens. What was I thinking? And there's Meld right there. Crikey, crikey, crikey. Let's throw a grenade. Car freaking boom. Yay, got a promotion! You're no longer a rookie, rookie! Alright, let's dash up to get to where we can get to these aliens. Maybe I can rocket these guys. Nope, can't quite reach that far. That's a shame. Uh, well, let's dash up to the outs. No, this side, so we can shoot them. The da -na 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 -na. I am running. And my sniper, who is being annoying at the moment. Let's run you to there. Ah, mind control buffings. And you've moved behind there where I know I can reach you with a grenade. Oh dear. Alright. Let's go with our rook. Our rookie. Alright, 35% chance for that guy, and 50 for the other one. Let's do that. Oh, you got them both. What a champion you are, Margarita Ruiz. Another day. Yeah, there we go. Mission operation. done. That was a fine mission, fellas. A fine mission. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. Another that heavy. Is a solid effort. That is irritating to say the least. I was hoping for something else. But oh well. Yeah, Martin. Our support has been promoted. Yeah, what options do we have here? We have covering fire. Allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. So normally when you're on Overwatch, when they move through your line of fire, you shoot at them. But if they move just to the edge of your line of fire and shoot at you, you don't get a shot. This will allow you to shoot at them first when they go to shoot at you. The other ability is Sprinter, which means you can move further. I generally like this one better because it makes it better for running up and healing your friends. Um, reaction shots. He's got a pretty good aim, so he'd be good at it, but... Hmm... I normally do go with Sprinter. Maybe I should go with something different for a bit. So we can walk up and just go on Overwatch to cover the rest of the squad. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? And I got this International Service Cross. And another Urban Combat Badge. Panic across everywhere. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay, let's have a look at our medals. So the Urban Combat Badge needs to be awarded to someone. 
He's already got it, so let's give it to extra defense in cover. Who should that go to? Should probably go to our big heavy Matt Robinson. He's been quite handy recently. Let's give it to him. Well done, soldier. And the International Service Cross. What power do we have here? Plus two will per different nationality in the squad. Interesting. Or plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned, which we have one at the moment. So this is capped out at 10 aim, and this is capped out at 12 will. And this seems to be easier to get than this. Will is good for getting psionic abilities and for resisting panic. Aim is good, clearly, just for shooting people. So I'm going to go with aim. It, the bonus will add up more later on, and it'll be handy for something like a heavy who normally doesn't get a lot of aim. Although will's tempting as well. Mm. Yeah, let's go with will. Why not? And let's award the medal to our metal hog, Spitfire, because why not? Let's see if we can get someone with all of the medals. Alright, what do we got coming up? The Cybernetics Lab, any moment. Council report in five days. We should launch a satellite very soon. Let's just get the Cybernetics Lab built. Ooh, we've got some money. But they do not leave themselves entirely behind. Alright. What can we afford? Alien containment. Hmm. I do need to build an alien containment. Should probably do that sooner rather than later, yes. Maintenance every month of 10. That's fine. Then next month we can start evacuating this... Um, excavating this level and putting down the alien containment. We can put it in that spot straight away. And we can put a satellite uplink there. And yeah, we'll see how we go. Maybe I should build another satellite now. Mm, that's not. But let's go look at the situation room and see what's what. Oh, four levels of panic. Oh, we need to take care of one of those areas there. Nigeria is very handy because they give you the the all-in bonus, which is the 30% extra revenue, but they don't give you a lot of money. Oh, $100 is alright. America, oh, that's not much money at all. 50, 100, 180. Ooh, that's a lot of money. I really can't afford to lose the United States. And that'll give us an extra scientist as well, which will speed up our research. Let's do that. We need to put one of our ships from here over there, so if any ships come, we can shoot it down. So let's do that now. Number two, transfer to North America. We could order some more interceptors, but I don't really want to at the moment. We get some better guns and stuff. Alright. Let's, let's go until the council report happens. Hmm. What is this? Oh, the officer trainer school. Excellent! Let's go have a look at the officer training school. Now we can buy additional squad size, we can buy extra experience from kills, and larger will bonus each time they're promoted. That is coming straight away. The sooner you get that, the better, because it, more will means less panic and better chance of psionic abilities. And we'll also get our squad size upgrade, so now we can take five soldiers on missions. I am happy with that. Alright. Two days to the council report. Here we go. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. We got an A. Your results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Thank you. Remember, yeah. we will be watching. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to build a satellite uplink. 
No, apparently I won't. I need more power. That is not something I anticipated. This will prove problematic. Mm. We need to get that access lift. Access lift operational. Okay. We need to desperately get some more power. We need to put it there. We don't need to excavate across there anymore. Uh, I can't believe we didn't take that into account. Maybe I should destroy the cybernetics lab. I can always build it again. Uh, but I really don't want to. Oh. Oh, we're taking a risk here, fellas. Taking a risk. Alright, this is where I'm going to end this video. Um, as always, my name is Non Lethal, and you've been watching the Nerds at Night Nerd Stream of XCOM Enemy Within. You can find our Facebook page at facebook.com slash nerds at night community. You can follow us on Twitter at nerds at night, and you can also follow myself at Non Lethal Gaming. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below in hey, you think I should proceed? I'm desperate for power at the moment. I should be able to get things under control if I just can build a power thing and a satellite uplink and some satellites and oh gosh, we don't have enough money. What's going on? I'm worried. I'm worried a little bit. I, I will admit it now. We have 30 days until we have a risk of anyone leaving the project, but time moves quickly here. All right. Guys, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, yes, until next time, I'm non-lethal.